Okay, we're gonna try and record. I am trying to do things more outdoors. So I came up with a list of things to try and incorporate just to be outside. I feel like we're already working so much, 40 plus hours a week indoors. Uh, we have sleeping indoors. A lot of times it's raining, so you have to be indoors. So when it's nice out, we just wanna be outside and there's still stuff that has to be done. So some easy things I thought of um, would be like mowing the grass, which it's still a little damp in certain areas, so I can't mow all sections, but I'll mow a little bit. And I usually like to spend 30 minutes to an hour twice a week mowing. It's just so relaxing. It kind of reminds me of the Zen garden my friend had in college where you would have just the sand and you'd rake it and make little patterns. I feel like when I am using my lawnmower, is just making these beautiful patterns in the grass and it's so relaxing. So besides mowing, I could pull weeds. I really enjoy learning from podcasts. So I'm gonna make another video hopefully soon on podcasts that I enjoy or even YouTube channels that I enjoy and have learned things from. So yes, pulling weeds, picking up sticks. We still have sticks from Hurricane Irma that just got our yard all messed up. So. Uh, other things I was thinking about, I could prep food. I like to try and eat uh, some carrots every day or fresh fruit, vegetables. So maybe just having those prepped, I could do that easily outdoors, package them up in easy to go containers. Uh, so that gets me outdoors and also gets my food prepped. Some things, um, my mom has already been asking for a Christmas list. I know we're, we're grown mom. You have one grandchild, just, just buy for him. but. My parents, my family, they really enjoy gift giving. So uh, she likes a list, it makes it fun for her. So we need to do that for our family. Uh, pictures, my camera is full of pictures of my toddler. And so I really just need to narrow those down, get rid of the ones that are blurry or not usable. And that way my card can have some more room and that can be done outside. Uh, I also was inspired by I can't remember I think her name's Catherine it's a do it on a dime girl she made a bulk cooking took her two hours she got 16 meals I said that sounds great I'm would consider myself somewhat of a picky eater just because I'm all about like nutrition and do we really have to use tater tots or whatever's in meals I'm like I just want food as close to the natural form as possible uh, and she has a lot of canned goods in her foods to make it quicker and easier and so I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna record, write down everything, um, make a list and probably Thursday or Friday, since I have an extra day off from work, I can go ahead and bulk cook and see how that turns out. Uh, I've been enjoying making quick stuff shells. That was another YouTuber. I'll have to think of her name. I think Domestic Goddess or something. But basically I was thinking if I've got a plan for my meals anyhow, I can go ahead and do that outdoors and just make my list, my grocery shopping list, or what order I'm gonna put everything in. And then I was thinking I could make more videos outside like I am doing now, yes. Uh, just to try and share the many things I've learned. I wanna try and squeeze as much as I can into my day. It's been helping just structuring my time, using my Google Calendar, just putting different times I'm going to the gym, different times I'm either going to see somebody, meet for dinner, like just really trying to make the most of the time I'm given. So I'm very grateful for that planning. Uh, I can also take times to write cards to my family members. We maybe connect briefly on social media just to see different pictures. But it's hard with people out of state, so it would be nice just to send them a quick hello besides just the annual Christmas card. Uh, also, writing more blog posts would be helpful. Uh, there's so much I want to share. My sister is getting ready to have a baby in February. We're so excited, and I know she. it would mean a lot to her to be able to breastfeed for potentially long term, or just it's been a long time since she has breastfed, so just trying to put some information out on the web for people that are curious on how to make breastfeeding work for them. If you know you're only having a short time with your baby and you have to go back to work, then what is gonna be the most feasible? So I'm not, I mean, 
I would consider myself <laughs> a mom expert on breastfeeding um, just because I've had so much pumping and research and experience with it. Um, if I can share anything I've learned across that journey to help other moms, that would just make me very happy to share that. So let's see. Uh, oh, yes, I must make time for this. We, I need to use my, um, either my dirt bike or my, uh, what do you call it? Like a little go-kart, like for the dirt. That would be fun. I need to do that. And then last but not least, I can do continuing education. So there's, I don't know, is that 10 ideas? That seems like 10 ideas. There's definitely a few ideas. Oh, I know this is not exciting, but <laughs> you can do laundry. You can fold your laundry outside. It works best if you have like a wagon or SUV or something with like a flat bottom. You can just like plop your laundry basket out there and just start folding and you get the fresh air, the movement. But yeah, I just have the car today, so we're gonna fold laundry outside. I haven't quite ventured out to like doing my dishes outside, but that's probably just because I don't have an outdoor sink. Let's see, and plus the dishwasher. It's amazing, we love dishwashers. I never used it before a child, but after having a baby, that dishwasher helps a lot. Okay, so those are some ideas. What ideas do you have to stay outside, be outside, while still being productive and getting stuff done? So share in the comments below what you do outside uh, that you could have done inside, but now you're outside. Just brainstorming different ideas so we can all be more in nature. Have a great week. Bye.